Welcome back. Well, let's focus on Mishra Datu Nigam. Well, the stock in the last one year or so, it's been a big outperformer. The stock is close to have uh, doubled. However, in the last one month or so, the stock has got a little bit nervous. Uh, you know, from early February, last 12 months, beautiful. Last one month, the stock has come down, I think, close to around 20% from its recent high. But to understand what's the way ahead, well, and to help us out with what's the current positioning of the order book, we're joined by uh, Dr. Jha, the chairman and managing director of the company. Hi, sir. Morning and good to see you and thanks so much for joining in. Well, let's focus first on execution. We've got your rough order book and we could get an updated number. But at the start of the year, I recall you telling us that you're expecting to grow by closure around 20% in FY24. Uh, as of the nine months, well, you've done more than that. You've done closure on 27%. But you also said you expected margins to go closer to around that 30% uh, odd mark. In the last quarter, there was a dip. For the year, what is the average margins? And what is the revenue growth we should look at both in this year as well as in FI25? Please go ahead, sir. Yeah, uh, first of all, this year uh, uh, we have a very uh, big change in our uh, in the business area. It is, I, the, mainly because uh, now we are mostly serving uh, the high-end materials that is of nickel-based alloys, which requires a lot of uh, other uh, valuable metals like molybdenum, cobalt, uh, niobium, and other uh, precious metals. And you know, these prices are fluctuating in the international market. I think uh, the main reason on uh, pressure on our uh, uh, profit is because of uh, variation in the raw metal prices. However, uh, recently I have seen in the last uh, uh, three months it has uh, come down and it's getting uh, stabilized. I think this will have the impact we'll see in the quarter four or maybe in the first quarter of the next financial year. Both will have the impact. We'll have the better uh, improvement in our margin because of that. Okay. Regarding the growth, regarding the growth, as you have uh, already told that we have already uh, crossed almost uh, more than 25% uh, if you see the last nine month operations. And of course, uh, quarter four has been always good for the company. So I expect that will be maintaining the similar level of growth in the revenue and in terms of the value of production also. Uh, okay. Regarding, uh, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, so Mr. Jai, I just wanted some more clarity. So this year you lend closer to around, say, around uh, 1,100 crores? Yeah, revenues? yeah, yeah. We are, we are targeting uh, 1,100 crores. Uh, 1,100 crores. Uh, this year. And, uh, and on that base, you will grow another 20%. So you'll be closer yeah. to around that 1,350 crores approximately for the next year. Yeah, yeah. true, true. Mm. Got. And what about the margin outlook? The worst is behind. You're saying the raw material cost has cooled off. So margins will improve from year on. On an average, what should the range we should work with? Uh, if you see now, uh, the margin which we are operating uh, in the last nine months, if you see there is a lot of pressure in the margin, but I see the last quarter will and uh, will have the better uh, realization of that uh, profit because the whatever raw material we have consumed so far, uh, I think those things are only going to give you the output in the next uh, another uh, one month left now for the completing this financial year. So I am sure that that will have the better performance, but then definitely uh, it is not going to uh, go uh, near about 30 or 30 plus. I am I am just seeing that it will be in the range of 20 to 25 percent in that range only the margin will be there overall for this year current financial year. All right, and 20 to 20. Yeah, sorry, yeah. go on, please, sir. And uh, uh, why it is so? Because mainly now we are uh, uh, serving the high-end materials for the aerospace industry, and aerospace industry requires all mainly the nickel-based alloys, then titanium alloys. And uh, you know that uh, the raw metal prices uh, across the globe, it has uh, gone up and uh, supply chain also got affected. So because of right. that, only this is coming. But uh, I think we are uh, in a position to stabilize it further as we progress. Mr. Jha, hi, good morning. Uh, Prashanthia, uh, could you tell us, uh, just talk to us a little bit about the order book and what is really the scope of the orders? You know, it's a sector which is taking off. Uh, is the, the government was the primary sort of player in the field. There are so many sort of private entities uh, which are coming up really fast. Uh, there is the recent FDI news. What is the sort of size of the uh, market as you see it for you, uh, sir? How do you scope it? 
Uh, as uh, uh, I have told earlier that uh, we are targeting uh, more than 25%, 25% growth uh, year after year. So definitely our order book also has to grow in a similar way. And if you see today, uh, we are uh, almost uh, crossed almost 1700 crores plus. We have the order book position. But uh, there are good indications. I think uh, this year we have, uh, we are almost finishing the total order booking will be by the uh, last quarter, it will be coming to almost 1500 crores for this year itself order booking. So I am, I am and, and it is not only that order is not available, many orders we are not able to take uh, as on today because of capacity constraints and also the uh, supply time is very less uh, for the uh, mostly for the overseas uh, uh, companies because now they are uh, approaching to us or and, and for that matter other companies in India also to get the raw material at the very uh, in, the, in the very uh, less time. So yeah. that part we have to address now and I am sure that we have also addressed it. That's why this year our export is also going to touch the maximum level and uh, I am sure. expecting that this will further grow in the next year because a lot of indications, positive indications are there and we are interacting with the many leading aerospace companies of the world and sure. I am sure that, that will further uh, give us the advantage for no, whatever absolutely, we have sir. <clears throat> no, Absolutely, and you know the company always uh, comes into the limelight uh, when we have these high profile space missions especially and just yesterday when we had the four astronaut names get announced for the Gaganyaan mission as well, so extremely prestigious pro pro you know, projects, all of these. But uh, can you give us a mix between the space and the defense revenue? And is there any difference in margins or uh, are margins pretty similar across both the businesses? Because you're saying 20-25% EBITDA margin for the next year, uh, by, the, by the end of this year. What should we expect on the margin profile and, uh, you know, uh, what will be the revenue mix uh, in this 1100-odd uh, crores for FY24? Yeah, in FI24, uh, we'll be almost uh, doing the defense will be the maximum. We'll be completing defense with almost uh, uh, 60 to 65 percent defense supply will be there. And space will be around uh, 25 percent and the ba balance will be the rest. Uh, what happened in the space, uh, whatever orders we have received two, three years back already, we are completing almost, we have completed 90 percent out of that. So uh, unless we get the new orders coming from the, because now the space is going for the transformation that they are going to go outsource. And also the many private players are coming into the picture. So those things, the finalization of the contract is taking some time. So definitely uh, once this get finalized, then we'll be also going to the fray to get the orders from that uh, type of uh, consortium. But I have seen that now uh, that change, that also is coming to the place. Uh, the margin which we are operating today, probably we have to also be in, in the competitive mode where many, as you rightly told, that many companies are also coming in this area. Mm. So definitely there is a pressure on the margin because we cannot operate on the higher margin for that also. What we have to see that we have with our enhanced capacity, we have to increase the volume and we have to also see the cater the requirement of the defense, especially okay. in the aerospace sectors uh, for the Indian requirement and the foreign requirements also. Okay. So this is the combination where we have to work and then see that how we can best uh, uh, maintain our the margin the best possible way. But yeah, definitely right. it is a very challenging market, very competitive Indeed. market. But since Midhani is having a special unique uh, uh, leap placed in this sector, so yes. definitely we'll have the advantage in, in, our op in getting the new, new orders coming from the different sources. Got it. Good sector, but it's getting competitive. We got that. Mr. Jha, final question before we let you go. You're talking about capacity constraints, but also you had some kind of, I think, deep bottlenecking, some capacity coming on stream. So at peak capacity, with your current gross block, what kind of revenues can you do? Point number one. And point number two, we normally ask you about this. Have you heard something from DIPEM? Is there going to be an OFS in Midani in the next one month or so? Because FY24, we were talking about, it's almost the end. Uh, first, I'll address on the capacity-wise. Uh, uh, we are a continuous, uh, uh, is like uh, a plan to enhance our capacity both on the upstream and downstream. That is regularly we are doing. So that is going, giving us the advantage uh, for the uh, getting the bigger volume from the market, or that from the, our sales. And also for regarding uh, the OFS, in fact, the Deepam is uh, the right agency to comment on this. But we are already, uh, this was indicated long back, they will go for OFS. But now I think, 
uh, they are likely to finish uh, maybe in the um, in the one year but i have not heard a concrete plan so far from the dpm as of now Okay, all right, Mr. Jha, we leave it on that note. Thank you very much for uh, sharing all the details on the business with us. Uh, good chatting with you this morning and all the best for your plans. <laughs> so